tortoise and the hare aesop's fables there are lots and lots of animals in the forest i'm sure you know the names of all of them two of them belong to the story that i'm going to tell you today well star in the story i'm going to tell you today the tortoise and the hare now the hare was the fastest animal in the forest or so he thought he could run so fast he could jet like flash everywhere in a second he'd be from there to there he could cross the town in 3 second flat and he was really proud of this fact he would go around chuffing his collar moving his head around cocking his head saying i'm the fastest animal in this forest <laughs> No one's been able to catch me yet and no one can win a race from me. Nee nee nee. Many other animals challenged him. Even the old cheetah, maybe because he was very old, he also didn't win. And the hare remained the undisputed fastest animal of that forest. One day, the hare saw tortoise coming towards the ice cream parlor to pick up some ice cream where the hare was having ice cream also and the tortoise was moving mm. 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 really slowly oh my god said the hare are you for real Are you really going to move that slowly all the way? Let me just get you your ice cream. No, no, no. I can do it fine. I'm in no hurry. Thank you very much, said the tortoise and kept moving. Mm. Mm. Slowly towards the ice cream parlor. Man, you are slow, said the hare. I wish I could teach you to be faster. No. I don't need to be faster. Thank you very much," said the tortoise, moving an arm and then the other arm and then another step. Ah, uh, uh, it's a pity. It's a pity. I mean, you know, I'm not asking you to race with me or anything because I know how that would end. <laughs> What do you mean? said the tortoise. Well, I mean, I'm never going to ask you to race with me, said the hare. You will lose. But I was just saying, you know, I could train you to move a little faster, whatever. Well, what makes you so sure you, you will lose? said the tortoise. <laughs> oh, um, mm, let me think about that. Uh I'm super fast and you're super slow," said the hare with a smirk. "Yes. Well, how about I challenge you to a race? You never know. You know luck might be on my side," said the tortoise. "You're challenging me. You're challenging me on a race." <laughs> oh my god the hare laughed and laughed and laughed till his sides hurt oh no 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 it's okay tortoise it's okay you don't need to prove anything you you're fast you're fast it's okay no um, if you're scared to race me i understand i'm not scared to race you oh you poor thing fine let's race and so it was the next day The tortoise and the hare arranged to meet at the edge of the forest. A race line was set and Mr. Zebra was going to count. It's ready steady go. All the animals of the forest had gathered. They'd all told tortoise, "Don't do this. Don't do this to yourself. Really, it's 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 just not worth it." But the tortoise seemed determined. "It's okay." It's not about winning. It's about not giving up," he said. "Okay," said all the animals. They really liked the tortoise and they were sick of the hare boasting and showing off all the time, but they knew how this was going to end. 
Both the hare and the tortoise stood by the start line of the race. The tortoise was ready. The hare just stood there relaxed. He knew he's going to win this in a second. All the animals gathered to watch. Mm. And the zebra shouted, Ready? Mm. Steady? Go! And the tortoise lifted one leg and took a step. And he took another step. And he took a third step. And he kept taking those steps. The hare looked at the tortoise for a while, saying, Oh dear. And then he shot off. When they had reached halfway through the race, the hare saw a small, you know, one of those trucks that sell burgers and pizza on the road. Ooh, said the hare, I'm gonna get me some burger and pizza. Hmm, I've got all the time in the world. I mean, even if I stay here for three hours or four hours, the tortoise is never going to catch up with me. And so he went and he bought himself burgers and pizzas and some ice cream, all the junk food he could find. Oh dear, all that junk food made the hair feel disgusting. He felt slow and lethargic and got a bit of a toothache. And oh, I'm just, oh, just going to sit here under this tree for a bit. I need to relax before I race again. Ah, ooh, my tummy feels kind of funny. Oh, maybe I'll just close my eyes for like half an hour. Ah, and he told his watch, Hey, watch, wake me up in half an hour. And his special super duper alarm clock watch said, Okay. And the hare took a nice long nap. Meanwhile, the tortoise did not give up. He was still at it. He was tired. He was thirsty. He was panting. But he did not stop for water, not even by the stream, not even when he was offered water by the animals. Oh, no. He just stayed undeterred on the path with his mind and his inner eye on the goal. Yep, he had to get to that finish line. He knew that the hare had probably already won the race, but he didn't care. He still had to finish the race. He wasn't going to leave it halfway done. No sorry, not him, the tortoise. And so our wonderful friend, the tortoise, kept going. Keep going. This word in English is known as perseverance. And perseverance is a very strong thing. It means when you keep going and you don't stop no matter what. You just don't give up. Ooh. Soon, after a long, 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 long time, many hours, the tortoise looked up and wiped his brow. Ooh. Out there in the distance, he could see, oh, oh it's the finish line. Uh, thank God I can get there and have some water. Ooh. And he kept plodding on, kept plodding on towards that finish line. Ooh. Ooh. Yes, it's coming closer. Yes, I finished. I didn't give up. Yeah. <laughs> Meanwhile, the watch had been trying to wake the hare up. Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! Oh, quiet, said the hare. Okay, watch, I'm up. What is it? Oh, yeah, there's a race to run. <laughs> okay, better finish this race. I'm going to win it anyway. I'm so super fast. And he started walking in a relaxed way towards the finish line. Do, 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 do. His hair, ears were flopping in the wind. After a little while, the hare looked a little closely in the distance. What's that? Uh, it's the finish line and uh, 
the tortoise is really oh my god oh my god uh, and the hare decided he had to speed and he sped but the tortoise lifted his paw and uh, whether he crossed the finish line and with the other one he was across with both feet uh, what just happened what just happened to the hare and all the animals in the jungle were cheering yay yay what just happened zebra smiled and looked at the hare what just happened well the tortoise just won the race from you that's what just happened ooh oh i did i i, I thought the hare must have been on, on the other side long time ago i won ooh oh ooh <laughs> that's great no, no, I said the hare. I'm the fastest animal in this forest. I am the fastest animal in this forest. I challenge you to a re-race. A re-race? <laughs> oh, no, thank you. It's okay. Uh, you've got nothing to prove, hare. <laughs> it's okay. Relax. Let's enjoy the party. Yay. Let's celebrate my win. Uh, oh, come on. Come on, tortoise. A re-race. A re-race. And the tortoise put his little arm around the hare and said, Hare, it's time to stop competing and time to be friends. Come on, I never had that ice cream. Let's have that ice cream together now. Hey, let's go. And the hare looked at the tortoise's warm, friendly, loving face and smiled and said, Okay, tortoise, okay. And all the animals cheered. The fastest animal in this forest is the tortoise. Yay! And so it was for many, many years. That's the way the tortoise ran the race from the hare. <laughs>